This video will cover the Cycle Sketch Plane Elevate and Elevation commands. The Cycle Sketch Plane Elevate and Elevation commands are used in conjunction with each other during 3D sketching. When you are in 3D sketch mode, you will often need to change the reference plane and the elevation off of the reference plane. Both of these actions can be done from within the sketch. In 3D sketching, it is often advisable to have the grid turned on. This will allow you to always reference the correct plane, and it will allow you to know how far off of the plane you are sketching. The Cycle Plane command allows you to switch, or cycle, between the three primary planes that intersect at the origin. There are at least four different ways to cycle through the three major planes. You can click on the Cycle Sketch Plane icon in the Sketch Tools group on the ribbon, or right-click the mouse and select Cycle Sketch Plane on the menu. Or you can press and release the Tab key on your keyboard, or press and release the letter F key on your keyboard. The Sketch Plane cycles to the next primary plane each time the command is clicked. If the grid is turned on, it is displayed on the current base plane. Note, this command can be used during other commands. If you press the F or Tab keys while in a figure creation command, the mouse pointer will remain in the same position in space rather than moving to an elevation of zero on the new sketch plane. Elevate. The Elevate feature is used for changing the elevation of sketch figures. Since you will not always want to sketch on a plane while in 3D sketching, you can quickly change the elevation to the approximate location. When sketching in 3D, you will notice that there are two green lines. These lines are the position on the grid relative to the X and Y origin. To elevate off of the plane, press and hold the E key and move the mouse perpendicular to the grid. When the sketch is elevated off the sketching plane, a yellow line will appear. This yellow line represents the elevation distance from the grid plane. You will notice that the yellow line will become longer as the mouse cursor moves away from the grid, and shorter as it moves closer to the grid. Once you're satisfied with the distance from the current plane, release the E key on the keyboard. When the mouse is moved, the yellow line will stay constant, and the two green lines will change in size, based upon your distance from the origin. Elevation The Elevation tool is slightly different from the Elevate tool. Whereas the Elevate tool changes the offset off of the sketching plane by moving the mouse to the approximate location, the Elevation tool will precisely change the offset by allowing you to input the value through the dialog box as shown here. The Elevate and Elevation commands can also be found on the mouse menu with a right click on the mouse. If you already have sketch figures created and wish to change the elevation of a node, Enter Select Mode and, on the node of a figure, while holding down the E key, click and drag the node to the approximate needed elevation. Once the E key is released, the node will be at the new elevation. In this tutorial, you learned how to work with the Elevation and Reference Plane tools, and you learned why these tools are used in conjunction with each other in 3D Sketch Mode. You also learned how valuable the visible grid is as a reference tool while working in 3D sketch mode.